what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related. And today we have another declutter video. You guys, my, my, I feel my life getting together. I feel it as we speak. After this declutter, which you're about to see, my drawers shut, y'all. <laughs> see these drawers? they shut. I have to jam them shut or like force them open anymore. Everything has its space. Everything has room and it's amazing. There's one more declutter that I need to do and I've been putting it off till last because it's gonna be a doozy. It's my lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and all things lips that need to be decluttered. I don't know if I'm gonna film that one. I don't know how much people care about lipstick declutters. Uh, let me know if that's something you would like to see. I'm more than happy to film it, but if it's like, eh, I don't really care about lipsticks, then I would just, I won't do it. But if it's something you guys want to see, I know personally I love watching declutters. That's why I've been filming these because it's, it's, it's oddly satisfying and it's inspiring to like clean out your own stuff. Like I was inspired to start cleaning out my makeup drawers because I was watching other creators <laughs> do declutters and I was like, the time is now. So what you're about to see is the declutters of basically all my bronzers and blushes, highlighters, basically all face products aside from foundations and concealers. I went ahead and decluttered my foundations, concealers off camera just because it was super boring and I was only decluttering things that were either expired or the shade was too light for me. So nothing, nothing too crazy there. What you're about to see is bronzers, blushes, highlighters, etc. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, go ahead and grab a snack and grab a drink and let's get to decluttering. Okay, so we have quite a bit to go through. I am going to be pretty quick with this just because I want to get this done. I'm not gonna go into as much explanation as to why I'm not keeping as many of these things as I did with the eyeshadow palette declutter. If you have not seen my eyeshadow palette declutter video, I will have that link down below. I would like to get rid of at least, at least 50% of this. So let's, Let's get started. <laughs> so the first thing, this is this Olimar Cosmetics uh, bronzer, contour, and highlight powder. It's really great, but I'm going to pass it along. Got me beaming from ColourPop. I've been holding on to this for so long. It's a wonderful highlighting palette and I really do like it. But since then I have gotten other things in my collection that I use more. That will be passed along. Passing along this Brain Freeze palette. These little blushes from ColourPop came out last Valentine's Day and they are so cute, but the formula's fine, but not nearly as good as what I have in my collection. So all of these are going to go. This face palette from Midas Cosmetics, I'm gonna pass along. I'm keeping this, this I just got. This is the Nudegasm palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I just recently picked this up and I've been using it pretty much every single day. I freaking love it. That's keeping. Patrick Ta face palette that he came out with for the holidays, keeping that. I'm keeping my Lunar Beauty blush palette. Laura Lee blush aesthetics I'm keeping. Lunar Beauty Outer Dimensions Face Palette I'm keeping. The, I'm getting rid of all of these. These are the Jeffree Star Skin Frost. I have the shades Regina George, Ice Cold, and Lavender Snow. These are all getting passed along. I'm keeping all three of my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wands. I have the blush in the shade uh, Pink Gasm. I have the highlighting wand in the shade Spotlight, and then the bronzer contour in the shade Fair Medium. I'm keeping those. 
This I just recently got. This is my little blush from Rose Ink. This is in the shade Heliotrope, keeping that. I'm gonna pass along my little highlighting palette from Revolution that they collaborated with with Soph. Keeping my Pat McGrath face palette that they came out with this year. This was the Divine Blush and Glow Trio. These were all sent to me. These are from Estate Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and pass these along just because they get lost in my collection, just because of how small they are. So these are gonna get passed along. Keeping my Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. This I've had for so long, but I still dip into it from time to time. This is the Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette from Tarte. I don't even think you can get this anymore. I know you can still get the shade Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which is so good, um, but I, I still really do love this palette, so I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm gonna keep all my Hourglass palettes. I have the two that they came out with last year for holiday. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette from last year. And then I have the lighter one that they came out with this year. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe. I can never figure out how to open this. I've used this palette so many times and still can't figure out how to open it correctly. This I'm keeping, this is my little Game of Thrones highlighting palette. This I never use and I probably never will use, but it's a collector's piece for me. It's, I, I have it as a collector's piece, so this will probably stay in my collection for a long time. This is the new Natasha Denona Cheek Duo that she just came out with. I'm keeping that. I've been using this the past few days and I really, really love it. It's a Sungasm highlighter from Catrice. I'm gonna pass that along. This is the Tribe highlighter from Juvia's Place. Super pretty, but I am gonna pass it along. Here is the Star Inspired Highlight by Ofra. This is the one that they did with Samantha March. I'm gonna hang on to this. Oh, this is a little uh, sample of Skin Nova that I got with a, it was like a free gift with purchase for my last Vive order. And I totally forgot to mention this in my eyeshadow palette declutter. Uh, I didn't mention any of my Vive products in that one because I keep all my Vive in this little makeup bag right here. I do this just because I like I like to have all my Vive products in one spot just because I truly do love them so, so much. Um, so I'm not gonna be going through like my Vive blushes, my Vive bronzer, my Vive highlighter, just because they all, um, they all stay in this little makeup bag and it goes right under my desk so I can pull it out when needed. Uh, let's see, what is this? This is a blush by Kylie. This is in the shade True Mama. It's like a pink, pretty sparkly, shimmery shade. I'm gonna pass that along. This is the shade Batty on the Block. This I really liked, but I am gonna pass it along. This is a new blush. This is the new formula that she came out with. This is in the shade Winter Kiss or Winter's Kiss. Winter Kissed, I'm gonna keep that. Here is a Kylie bronzer in the shade Khaki. I'm gonna hang on to this for now. Probably will be decluttering this in my next round of declutters. Uh, but for now, I remember really liking the shade on my skin tone. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in the shade Me Mesmerize? Mesmerize, yeah. Um, I like this formula, but this shows up way too deep on my skin tone. And I know just the person who will be perfect for this. So I'm passing this along. I will, however, be keeping the liquid illuminizer in the shade Enlighten. This one fits my skin tone just fine. I'm gonna pass along these little trios from Tarte. I feel like I had another one. If I find it, I'll pull it up. But these have been in my collection for a while. They're really cool. They slide out like this. You have a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter all in one. And then it just kind of swivels back like that. And then I have this one right here. This one has two blushes instead of a bronzer. I'm gonna pass those along. Here are some more little highlighters from Estate Cosmetics. These are all sent to me. I just don't use them like they should be getting used. They are fantastic formulas. So I'm gonna pass these along. I'm gonna pass along these little cheek singles from ColourPop. This is from the Why Not collection. I'm gonna keep this. This is my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. This is a really nice shade for my skin tone, and I really like the formula. I'm gonna keep my two Bougie Rouge palettes from Jaclyn Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep everything from the Bougie Rouge collection that I got from Jaclyn. So here are all the loose blushes. 
And then I have the little cream blush sticks that are super nice. I really like these. So I'm keeping all of those. I'm going to move on to my Cover FX. I loved these when I got them. I thought they were so great, but I just haven't, I haven't used them. So here's this shade right here. They're really pretty. They have like the matte shade on one side and then it's kind of the same shade, but a more shimmery version on this side. So let's see, I have this color. I have a bronzer. I have this like peachy color. I have this color right here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep all of these for now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to keep these in my collection. Maybe I'll move them around in my drawer so they're more up front, but yeah, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to go ahead and pass along all my little Nabla singles that I got. I got these during the Ulta, like 21 days of beauty or whatever it is. I have the shade Truth. I have the shade Privilege and the bronzer shade in Dune. They're fine, but I have items in my collection that I like better. And so I want to pass these along to a new home. Oh, here's the other little trio from Tarte that I got. Passing this along. Here is my little Charlotte Tilbury blush. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I'm gonna hang on to that. Here's a little peachy blush from e.l.f. I'm gonna pass that along. This bronzer from e.l.f. I freaking love. It is great. It is so inexpensive and it's one of my favorites. So I am going to keep that. Here is a little contour palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along just because I did get the Outer Dimensions palette from Lunar Beauty. The same shades that are in here are in here and I do like this formula a little bit better. So I'm gonna pass along this one. Here is a highlighter from Catrice Cosmetics. I'm gonna pass that along. I'm gonna keep my Film Start Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna pass this along. I recently picked this up and it just doesn't, the color is kind of weird for me. This is in the shade Sunkiss. This is the Urban Decay Bronzer. It's just like, I don't know. The shade is not for me. I don't, I couldn't even tell you what shade this is. It's not like any other bronzer that I've seen before. And it just shows up a little too orange on me personally. So I think I'm gonna pass this along to my friend that has a little bit of a deeper skin tone and see if this works for her. I'm keeping all my little Patrick Ta blush duos. I have these shades, Do We Know Her? She's So LA, and She's That Girl. Let's see, here's some more from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Beachy Bronzer. This is a nice little cream bronzer, keeping that. I have, whoop, I have the Glazed Out Highlighter from Jaclyn Cosmetics, keeping that. Here's another little Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop from their wine collection, passing that along. I'm also gonna go ahead and pass along these from e.l.f. These are the, these are two of the putty blushes. They're really, really nice. I just don't use them. And then this is the jelly highlighter. This is actually really, really nice, but I just don't use it. Oh, okay, I just completely forgot I had a whole other drawer um, <laughs> of some highlighters and blushes, but they're all from one brand, so I kind of kept them separate. Um, before I dive into that, this is the Nikki Tutorials highlighting trio that she did with Ofra. Super pretty, but I am going to pass this one along. This, you're gonna have to pry out of my cold dead hands one day. This is the Jaclyn Flash palette that she came out with a few years ago, two or three. She doesn't make this anymore. She sells them as singles, but this is the best highlighting palette that I own and that I think I ever will own. These two shades up here, 10 out of 10. I love them so much. This palette is so handy. I wish she would bring this back because it's fantastic. Obviously keeping this. All right, these are two shades that she came out with for holiday or Valentine's Day. It was holiday or Valentine's Day. I think these were in her mystery box, if I'm not mistaken. There are two highlighters right here. We have the shades Twinkle and the shade Flurries. And I think I'm actually gonna hang on to both of these for now. Um, we'll see if they survive another declutter. This I'm keeping, this I've had for a long time too. This is the Do Me Luminous Powder. This I use all over my face when I want some extra glow. Here are some individual little highlighters. I have the shades Light Show, I'm So Lit, Light The Way, and All Lit Up. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pass all of these along just because I don't use these. I don't use the loose powder highlighters. Um, it's not my favorite formula. Same with this. This is a highlighter in the shade Extra. It's one of those loose highlighters and I think I'm gonna pass this one along as well. This I'm gonna keep. This is the Winter Sun Palette from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I've actually been really liking this. It's really pretty. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Palette and this has been so used and... <laughs> Oh, I think it's time I get rid of this. This is old. This has been so worn out. It's time for this one to go. <laughs> that being said, I do have some Becca items that I made sure to purchase before they went out of business. I know that they partnered with, um, who did they partner with? Smashbox? I think they partnered with Smashbox. Um, but anyway, I picked up a few items. Here is a little shimmery blush in the shade Camilla. I have the, bl the blush in Wild Honey. Stunning. Highlighter in Opal. So I have two Opals. This one was my original one that I got and it, it's like hard panned at this point. I know there's some left, but it, barely picks up anymore. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this one just because you can't get anything out of it. Even though it looks like there's some left, I've tried it, I've swatched it, and it's just like, it's super hard. But I do have this little fresh one. So I will still have the opal highlighter in my life. <laughs> Let's see, this was actually like a free sample that I got with the last order that I made. And this is the bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. Um, I'm gonna pass this along just because I have a fear that I'm really, really gonna fall in love with this and then I'm not gonna be able to get it anymore because Becca no longer exists. Uh, so I'm gonna pass this along to my friend so that she can fall in love with it and then uh, realize that this isn't a thing anymore. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I have from Becca. The blush in Flower Child, which is one of my all-time favorites. Songbird blush. Oh my God, can you imagine if I just, oh, if that would have broken. So mad at myself. This is like a little mini trio that I got last year, this year. I don't know what year it is. There are three little highlighters. This is the shade Rose Quartz. Champagne Pop, you know I still had to have my Champagne Pop, which was Jaclyn Hill's shade that she came out with, for those of you that do not know. And then I have the shade Vanilla Quartz. And I'm gonna be keeping all of these. Okay, so these I'm keeping, these are the Jaclyn Hill Blush and Bronzer Duos. I really, really love this formula. Uh, these were just on sale at Ulta over the holidays. So if you can still get this on sale, I highly recommend it. I think they're really great. They're not super duper pigmented. I kind of like that because you don't have to worry about going in with too heavy of a hand. Uh, but anyway, these are the shades Sun Kissed and Bronze Moment, Pink Me Up and Oh Honey, Lilac Love and Top Tan, and then Warm Flush and Golden Goddess. Super pretty, keeping those. Um, I remember at the beginning of the video when I said I wanted to get rid of like 50% of that pile. That's not gonna happen, but you know what? That's okay because I don't have to get rid of 50%. Do what I want. Here is my little Cinderella Cheek and Highlight Duo. This is the Sigma collection that they did with Cinderella. I'm keeping this. This is a little highlighter from Nude Sticks. This is in the shade Bubbly Bee. I think that's a little too dark for me, so I am gonna pass this along. Two Fenty bronzers. I have the cream and I have the powder. The cream bronzer is in the shade Butta Biscuit, and I'm actually gonna pass that along. I am, however, gonna be keeping the powder bronzer. This is in the shade Into Sun. It's a really, really nice bronzer. Great formula. Uh, oh, here's something from Jaclyn. This is the highlighter in the shade Hypnotic. This is like a lavendery color that she came out with. I haven't used this because it's like kind of out there for me, but am I gonna get rid of it? No. Let's see, here is a Another cheek product from ColourPop. This is from the Disney collection. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. It's got two cream blushes from Fenty. I have the shades Petal Poppin' and Drama Class. This is the most unique blush in my collection. I know it looks kind of wild. I mean, it's 
purple, but on the cheeks blended out, it doesn't look purple. It's the most unique color. Um, and I'm going to keep those. Here are two products from Tarte. This is the breezy, this is the breezy cream blush in the shade peach sunset. Really like this. I'm going to keep that. And then I have the breezy cream bronzer in the shade seashells, Seychelles. I think it's seashells. I don't know. I really like that as well. Keeping that. All right. This was, um, this was gifted to me by Merit. This is a little cream blush. I really like the color. It's in the shade terracotta and it is um, a terracotta color. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang on to this. These are all my little melt cream blushes. Super, super great. I love these. Um, I have the shades Sandy Cheeks, Polished, Lynx, Honey Thief, and golden hour keeping those this is my little barbie color pop highlighter this i think i'm just keeping it because i think it's really cute and i love barbie it's actually a pretty nice highlighter i'm gonna keep this around and see if i get use out of it over the summer i'm pretty sure the only reason i bought this was because it's barbie this i like but i just smelled it and it smells horrendous so i'm tossing this i don't I don't know what happened to this. I feel like it's not that old, but oh my God, the smell. It's gotta go, it's gotta go. All right, so let's see. This is from Nude Sticks as well. This is the shade Picante or Picanti. There it is right there, that really pretty orange color. Again, super out of my comfort zone, but I am gonna hang on to it for another round of declutters. Here are my little liquid blushes from Rare Beauty. I'm gonna keep these. I have these shades Happy and Joy. I have these three little Polly Pocket looking blushes from Rare Beauty. I haven't used these enough to kind of form an opinion if I really like them or not. I remember liking them when I first used them, but I've seen a lot of people say they don't really last. So I'm going to try to use these in the next few weeks, the next few times I do my makeup and see if I can form a better opinion on them. I remember liking them um, when I first got them, but definitely going to give them another look. And I have these two little blushes from M Cosmetics. I haven't been too impressed with M Cosmetics, not like a super huge fan, but I'm going to keep these and keep using them. I have these shades Golden Hour and I believe Faded Clementine. Yeah, so those are what those look like right there. They're really pretty. I just need to use them more to get a good like grip on how I feel about them. All right, somehow I found more items, uh, so I'll be really quick. This is just like a little deluxe sample that I got. I think I had like Sephora points that I used. This is a little cheek tint from our from drunk elephant i'm gonna pass this along because i don't want to try this because i don't want to like it because i don't want to pay drunk elephant prices <laughs> so i'm gonna pass this along my little huda beauty tantor i'm gonna keep that i have these two contour and bronzing sticks from morphe and i'm actually gonna keep both of these because i grab these i grab for these quite a bit actually and then I found one more of the Rare Beauty uh, liquid blushes in the shade Bliss. And this is one of my favorites from the brand. So I'm going to keep that. Now we're done. <laughs> okay, so here's everything that I am passing along and finding a new home. A good little dent. Here is everything that I'm still keeping. Um, it's, it's a lot, but you know what? It's less than what I had and that's all that matters. So again, I think we did really, really good guys. Successful job. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. That was my declutter for face products. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to declutter something in your life. Maybe make a little extra room, have a bit more space, uh, clean out your drawers, even if it's just like the desk you work at clean it out, wipe it down. <laughs> it honestly makes all the difference. I get so excited now when I open up my drawers and I can like see everything and everything just looks so clean and put together. So yes, like I said in the beginning, if you wanna see the lipstick declutter, let me know down below. 
I don't know if that's something people are interested in. But with that being said, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. That is it. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.